Askofu David Oginde ambaye amependekezwa kuwa mwenyekiti wa tume ya kupambana na ufisadi amesema atabuni mbinu tofauti za kukabiliana na ufisadi humu nchini. Oginde aliyesailiwa na kamati ya bunge kuhusu haki na masuala ya sheria alisema hataogopa kuwajibisha watu wanaohusika kwenye ufisadi. Aidha Oginde ambaye ni askofu mstaafu wa kanisa la Christ is the answer. Alisema thamani ya mali yake ni kiasi cha shilingi milioni moja sabini tazama tafuta mwenyekiti mpya wa tume kupambana na ufisadi humu nchini umeingia kipindi cha la salama thank you very much eh uko askofu aginda alipendekezwa kwa wadhifa huu akifika mbele ya kamati ya bunge kupigwa msasa what is it that you are bringing different that will assure kenyans because we are get keepers here on behalf of kenyans to ensure this time round whoever occupies that position provide solutions to this country so that's why i am so passionate about this thing called culture change and which therefore i say it the process of so doing is you have to get people who believe in that culture change so that they become the champions of a new culture within their own environment that is a positive way of working towards dealing with this thing called corruption. Aidha askofu huyo mstaafu wa kanisa la Christ is the answer ministries aliiambia kamati hiyo kuwa lipo ombwe katika sheria linalowapa walanguzi fursa ya kukwepa mkono wa sheria. So if we can get LSK and their team to talk to their members that when a thing is a thing let it be a thing. Let's not go around and say oh it was this and all that. And this is what is causing the dragon to flee because while we are fighting on the color of the bottle you said it is all blue but it's not it is light blue uh, the dragon has flown so if we are able to make some very strict provisions for how our corruption cases are handled supposing you are completely convinced that somebody is guilty and somebody has robbed this country But then he goes to the next level because you don't prosecute yourself and and the charges are, uh, are withdrawn against that person. Would you not take the moral authority yourself at least to help this country and resign for your from your position and say yes I would be very ready to resign if I find that the uh, efforts that we are making Kenyans and I say Kenyans I don't mean just leaders but we as Kenyans are committed that this is our way of life and we do not want to move away from it but i will not resign simply because certain powers that be have taken a certain position because that will be surrendering to the dragon iwapo ginda taidhinishwa atamrithi eludwa bukala ambaye hatamu yake ilikamilika mwezi januari mwaka huu kamchemenza darubini